Okay, I got a great video for you today. We're gonna analyze, in my mind, the best kick serve of all time. And I'm gonna show you some secrets that this mystery pro is doing that really made him one of the best servers of all time. And he didn't have a big serve, but this kick serve was enough to help him win a lot of major championships, beat the best players of all time. So make sure that you watch this video to the end. I know you're gonna learn a lot. This is one of dozens of tips inside my new and improved seven day serve challenge. So make sure that you go to sevendayservechallenge.com right now or after you watch the video to sign up. It's 100% free, you get free 48 hour access. I know you're gonna love it. You're gonna learn how to hit kick serves, slice serves, huge flat serves, maybe over 100 miles an hour if you can really follow the steps correctly. I think if you've got like an 85 mile an hour serve, you have a chance of learning how to hit it over 100 mile an hour serve if you go through my seven day serve challenge. So make sure you sign up. It's 100% free to get started. Let's go. Okay, welcome to the kick serve inspiration video. Now we have a close up here. Can you take a guess of who this is? It's one of my favorite kick serves of all time. Maybe the best kick serve ever. I don't know. It's tough to beat. Uh, so this is Stefan Edberg. We can see, one thing I want to point out is he's in a very aggressive eastern backhand grip, okay? So we can see those strings facing way up to the sky. This is going to allow him to really, really brush the ball. And, uh, yeah, so that's the first thing I want you to notice here about this kick serve. Now, he's coming down here. Watch the relaxed wrist motion. See what I was talking about. It's like all these pros. I bet you never really thought about it this much until this serve, seven day serve challenge. All these pros kind of get that little look as if they come down low. Okay, it's still there. It's still there. It's nice and relaxed. It's nice and relaxed. Now he starts working it up. Right here, he is in a crazy tilt. Again, I think part of having a really great kick serve is to show the chest back to the crowd. Big tilt. I was say, I'm, I'm, I'm saying today, you know, you need the best tilt of your life for a great kick serve. And this is one of the most extreme tilts you're ever going to see uh, demonstrated. All the pros are pretty much amazing at the tilt. Okay, but but Stefan especially, look how long he's delaying. Look at look how much body action has happened, and how quiet. Notice how little the rackets actually moved in the game to a hitting position. I mean, we, we've seen all kinds of movement here, out of uh, you know getting into the tilt and the body moving, getting position, the legs bending. Look how long he delays the racket. Okay, now he's getting into elbowing the enemy. And the racket's going in the racket drop. And you can see right now his legs are basically now thinking about exploding. He's on his tippy toes, really getting ready to pop up. And here he comes. Watch this. Watch the swing path. Hits out. You can see that big pronation move. Now, here's one thing I want you to notice. Look how he stops the racket. Now, you can also follow through and kind of bring it close into your belly, okay, on the other side. Just imagine that drawing's on the other side. But the two servers today actually stopped the racket after they hit it on the hitting side, which, which is interesting. And, um, yeah, so I, I think that, that when, when you see the exercise I'm going to give you today, uh, it kind of makes sense, especially the two servers. And I didn't even plan on this. Very interesting where they stop the racket. And then he continues to come to the net. He's going to get a high volume. He's going to put it away because he's Stefan Edberg. All right, I want to show you one more. 